Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Sam and welcome to the Ellie Rose Party Designs community. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how you can design your own Roblox chip bags in Silhouette Studio and what method I like to use and how easy it is to create your very own party printables right at home. If you're looking for some Roblox printables, feel free to check out this exact chip bag that I'll be offering for free to download on my blog. The link will be in the description box below. All right, so to get started, we are in Silhouette Studio. Now I am using the business edition, so mine might look a little bit different to yours, but the same concept will apply if you were using the free version. So the first thing we need to do is to set up our canvas. And all I have done is if you click over here to the page setup, so your paper size or your canvas size will be the size of the paper you would use to print on. So it would be either a US letter size or an A4, whichever one. But for this tutorial, I'm just using the letter size. And the second thing we need to do is orientation needs to be a landscape. Once you have got that, we are good to go. So to get started, we need a few things. The first thing I like to recommend is to go and find the clip art that you will be using. I have just gathered a few clip arts that I have found on Google. I All I did was type in Roblox clip art and try to find ones that either had a white background or were a, or had a transparent background. The other thing I also looked for was Roblox scenes or Roblox um, backdrops or background and then I found those ones there. Um, and then I also clicked on to Roblox logo uh, and this is the one that came up for that. So I've just saved these in a folder onto my computer. Now you can go ahead and save them into your library in um, in Silhouette Studio. So all you need to do is to click on to this little button here and it will open up. And then you can just save it underneath here. I'm not going to go through how it all works, but I've got other tutorials that you can check out for those. But all you need to do is just right click, click new folder, type that you want to rename it to Roblox. And then all you're going to do is just drag in your clip art. Um, I find I prefer to keep most of my clip art on my computer and then just drag it in that way it doesn't make the the software so slow okay the next thing that i need to have is my templates for the actual chip bag itself now i have done a few tutorials on my chip bags which i'll link down below the video but the main ones that we're going to use today is the barcode and the nutrition label and the other ones that i like to also use in a on a chip bag is these crimping style looks at the end okay so then all we're going to do then is let's just minimize that and get started okay so the first thing i'm going to do is to cover my canvas with one full color so i'm just going to click over here to the draw um to the shape tools and i'm just going to click on to the rectangle or the triangle shape and i'm just going to cover this entire canvas like that the next thing I'm going to do is to make sure that my canvas color is just pretty much any color for now because we are going to change that once we bring in our clip art. Okay, so this one here is for the full canvas color and this is for the outer edge color. And then I'm going to hit the select tool. Okay, so there it is there. And the, make sure that the entire canvas is completely covered. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to draw a rectangle shape and this rectangle, this rectangle shape needs to be five and a half in width and then going all the way down to the edge of the page. So let's go five and a half. Okay, let's drag you in here. Let's just make you a little bit smaller like there and still there. Okay. And then now this, it doesn't really matter what color it is because you are going to change that to the whatever it is that you want to put onto the front of your chip bag. So I am wanting to place this scene here onto my front of my chip. Okay. So to do that, all I need to do is to make sure that I have selected that rectangle shape 
go over to where you have saved your clip art and all I'm going to do is click this and drag it into place and there you go now if you find that it hasn't like attached itself to that shape or that that, that design that you've got on your canvas um, just make sure that you have actually selected that um, you've highlighted or selected that shape okay now all I would like to do is just to move this to the top here because I don't want to show this white part here okay so all I'm going to do is actually I'm just going to move that off the side and I'm going to just cut that off so to cut that off I'm just going to go over here and I'm just going to slice it off and then hit the select tool and remove that now it's not going to matter where exactly um, the height of it because I'm going to have a border on both sides but the one thing I would like to do is to make sure that this is in the middle of that and to do that I need to highlight everything and then I'm going to just click onto this one here to make sure that it is in the center and th there it is it's in the center now this one here means the center of the page that just means that it's in the center okay and then all I'm going to then is now keep going with my design so I am going to add some probably about let's say maybe an inch let's just go further up to about there and I'm going to change this color to like a nice red okay let's just drag you down here make you all right and then I'm just going to right click that and duplicate it and bring it all the way down to the bottom over here okay now it's starting to kind of form a shape but I am not liking that red very much so let's just go here and I want to rather make it like another like a darker red yeah I think that color looks good and the same thing goes for you let's pick you instead okay now I am just going to add in some of my other clip art so let's go ahead and add in let's say these guys here let's bring you in all right now you can see that it's got like this red line around it that just means that it's got the cutting lines on so now all you need to do is just click that button there this one here and that pretty much changes it to transparent okay now I am also wanting to put a offset around this so an offset is just like a little white border and to do that we're just going to go over to the right hand side and we're going to click on to open um, offset and I'm going to click offsets then going to change the distance to about 0 0.08 let's go with that and see how that looks so apply yep I'm happy with that but I'm just wanting to change the color to white and I want to make the outer edge also white the other thing I want to do is to make sure that that is grouped together which means that it's not going to go anywhere it's going to stay as one layer and let's reduce the size let's pop you in the middle about there let's just make you tad bit bigger and you see how these little red these little blue lines pop up that tells you that it's in the center okay about there now I am going to also bring in another clip pod that I like this guy here and let's drag him in he's a pretty big file so let's just reduce him and I'm wanting to change the outer edge to just be white okay uh, let's just make you go further down let's pop you in here to about say there that looks pretty good okay and then I'm just going to also bring in some goodies that were uh, nutrition label bring you in to the side let's so let's double click sorry let's drag in our okay let's just keep going down and more down and let's pop you in about there perfect and let's grab you reduce you 
pop you into to about there let's bring you further up all right so I'm liking that and let's just move you out the way for now okay and then all I'm going to do now is add in my wording actually one more thing I want to add in is the Roblox logo here it is here so guys while I've got you please feel free to comment down below and let me know if there's anything you would like me to teach you on my channel I'm starting to get back into doing videos I've had some time off and I am really excited to get back into it so feel free to comment down below and let me know if there's anything you are interested in wanting to learn okay so let's just make you smaller and as you can see it is too wishy-washy so let's go and put an offset around you make sure it's highlighted let's change the offset to say about 80 and I'm going to make that black and black and then I'm just going to highlight it and I'm going to group it together all right and there it is there so let's bring you in about there and move you up about there okay perfect now I'm going to add in my letters uh, sorry my my font now I'm probably going to go with let's go with this future um, Futuro Condense Extra now you can use whatever font you want okay guys I'm just using whatever I have handy and the other one actually no let's go with the Soup of Justice alright I'll link down below where I got this for free um, and all I'm going to type is happy now let me just change the color so we're going to go with okay so I'm going to change that color to say white the background is going to be black and I'm going to make that a lot more yep and then I'm going to do an offset around that and I'm going to make that red but let's change that down to say 40 and let's change that color to this color here and we'll change the background Okay, let me just see what that looks like. If I'm happy with it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm going to highlight everything and group it. And let's bring you over. Let's just zoom out again. Oopsie, too far out. Back in here. Let's pop you in about there. And I'm just going to go back into here and I'm going to just do the same thing. Birthday. I'm going to make it white, I'm going to make the outline black, now for some reason I've changed it to red, okay, let me just check something, what did I have there, 1.5, 1.75, okay 1.75, and then let's do the offset at 0 0.040, okay, and go here, and we're going to change that color to red red let's group that and bring that in to about there okay so let's just go further back out and have a look at how it's looking all right I am going to make this slightly bit larger and I'm going to make you slightly bit larger too Alrighty, there we go. Alright, and then I'm just going to pop in my wording over here. So let's just type in. I'm going to keep it the same color. I'm going to keep it white. And it's going to be black. Alright. And we're going to type in thanks for coming. And thanks for making my party super all right let's move that to the center sorry hit enter let's 
let's move you to the center and I would like to make that 75 what is going on tonight why is it not working all right let's just do a little bit of a an offset around this one too because it's just still looking a bit um, uh, let's change that to all right there you go and there you have it folks that's how you make a chip bag so we're just going to highlight everything and let's just group it the other thing i like to do is so we so we grouped it so that it's one whole file okay it's one whole layer the other thing i like to do is to save my work so making sure that let's just go here ungroup it go file save as and save to library or hard drive okay so library will be your silhouette studio and then the hard drive will obviously be your hard drive and your computer all right so i've already done that so i'm not going to worry about that let's just hit there and okay and all we're going to do then is go file save as now not only are we saving the file, but I'm obviously wanting to save it as a PDF file so that I can print it out. And um, I would just go hard drive. I'm going to save it onto my desktop, but I'm going to save it as a portable document format, which means a PDF. All right. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go onto my desktop computer here it is here and let's double click and see what it looks like and there we go thanks for making my party super and then all you would do then is print it out or if you need to send this to a printing place whatever you want to do it's always best to save it as a pdf because it just makes it a lot more easier now i did notice that i have little red lines over there so i will adjust that on my um, printable that i'm offering on my blog but otherwise actually while we're in there let's just let me just show you how we do that okay so all that happened was this design here you see how it's got that little red line just do that take it off and there you have it all right so quick and easy video i hope you found this video helpful and you will give it a go otherwise please feel free to like share this video comment down below and most importantly subscribe to my channel i appreciate all the love and i will see you in the next video take care guys bye